What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, last episode, we finished off successfully our Forest Frontiers map. Uh, you can see it was completed by me, Dr. D-Dub, with a company value of whatever. Doesn't really matter. And we get a little check mark here. Um, for me, that is a very satisfying sight. Being able to scroll through this entire list with nothing but check marks next to them, that is our goal. So we're making slow but sure progress. So we're going to go ahead and start our next map, which is Dynamite Dunes. Uh, built in the middle of the desert, this theme park contains just one roller coaster but has space for expansion. Uh, the objective is to have at least 650 guests in your park at the end of October year three with a park rating of at least 600. Okay, so Forest Frontiers, last time we had one year instead of three. So we have three times the amount of time to get just over two times the amount of guests. I think we needed uh, 250 last time, and now we need 650. So that should be doable. It's definitely not too hard. Uh, since there already is a ride in the park, we'll go ahead and up the price to $5. Um, it's open. It's all good. I don't know what land we can purchase here, if any. We can buy quite a bit. We shouldn't need to buy too much, but um, it's there if we need it. All right, let's zoom back in. And actually, let's take a look at this coaster real quick. Um, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. So if you click on the car itself, you can actually watch it. So let's go ahead and watch this thing. See how it is. I, it's been so long since I played this game, I don't even remember these rides. You can see it goes underground there. How is this a successful ride? It's going way faster doing way more curves than uh, the splinter I built last episode and this is probably really successful unlike <laughs> what I built okay high very high and high nausea um, I don't know if I've covered the ratings here before um, I know I've mentioned what they are but the ratings can be low medium high very high extreme and ultra extreme the only thing you ever want ultra extreme it would be your excitement, which I don't think I've ever seen a ride that's that popular um, or that exciting to go on. Um, they're charging $3 for it. I'm okay with that. Paint's good. Wait for full load. Mine train. See, if I... Right now it's at three trains. I could up this to seven cars per train and still have three trains, but that would change the statistics. And I'm assuming since it's a pre-built ride, they have it set that way for a reason. So I'm not gonna modify it right now. I might later, but for the time being, I will not. So this park is fairly large. Um, it's not too much bigger than their Forest Frontiers map, if, it, if any, um, but you can see it is all desert. So that does change a little bit. Um, let me scroll back to the front. So we don't have anything, and we already have people throwing up. So let's go ahead and build. All we have is that roller coaster. We don't have any shops or stalls or anything. So let's go ahead and fix that. Um, so a lot of my parks, you'll see, start out fairly similar. I kind of take a look at them, get a lay of the land, uh, start building a couple shops and stalls. And you notice whenever I build these, um, I do tend to keep them close together. Uh, I don't really know why. I just try to make it... I don't know, I feel like it mimics, um, oh, what did I do there? Oh, I muted everything, oops. Um, I try to make it mimic real life, I guess. Uh, whenever I go to a theme park, oftentimes the only individual shops are the little uh, kind of carts, or I guess you could call them stalls. Um, wow, it broke and we don't even have a mechanic yet. Let's fix that. Come here, mechanic, get over here. Fix this ride. It's going to be your sole job. And as soon as you hire him, it takes him a little bit of time to respond. Yeah, he's answering his call. <laughs> and, yep, I'm on it. And he's headed for Dynamite Blaster. Awesome. That broke really quick. Um, what's the inspection time set at? Oh, and this is kind of cool. The current breakdown, it'll show you what actually broke um, and various parts of the ride can break so right now it's the restraints stuck closed which means the people on the ride um i don't think anyone was on it so that actually wasn't the best example of what happened that or it broke 
while these people were on the ride. Uh, the restraints stuck closed. I'm pretty sure that means the restraints that hold the people into the cars themselves are broken. So when that car arrived, those people wouldn't have been able to get off the ride until the ride was fixed. Um, sometimes the station brakes that slow it down will break, and that can actually cause people to die. If you have the ride coming in at a high speed and you're relying on the station to slow it down, if those break, it will go full speed into the car behind it. And if it hits it hard enough, it will explode. And that is not good for your park rating or for the uh, general well-being of your guests. So, uh, okay, so we hired a mechanic. And let's go ahead and hire a couple handymen as well just to tidy up our park. Four sounds good. And you'll notice I'm not bothering to uncheck the uh, mow grass option because you can see there is no grass to mow. So that is one upside of having a desert. Uh, security, no, we don't need any of them yet. I think that guy just finished cleaning up someone's puke. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and build another restroom over by this ride, in case, or the dynamite blaster, in case anyone decides to throw up as soon as they gotta get off of it, because it is, um, I think, high nausea, medium? Yeah, high, high nausea rating, so if anyone goes on that, it's probably gonna need to puke, and you can see someone did right next to the restroom, but now that that's there, hopefully that shouldn't be an issue. Okay, let's get to building some rides. Uh, again, we'll start out fairly basic. Let's just do a merry-go-round. Sounds good. Um, you can see the arrow shows where it's facing for a merry-go-round. It doesn't really matter because it's identical no matter how many times I rotate it around. So it really doesn't matter. And somehow I ended up straight. Awesome. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and add the entrance and exit for this. Uh, and we're going to try and keep the footpaths matching these, so we'll actually change these to that kind of brown dirt path instead of the paved concrete like is out here. Uh, so that's good. And let's do, let's make all of our cues yellow. I think that kind of matches the desert vibe. Oh, and you know one thing I forgot to do that I mentioned I should probably always be doing right as we start? I need to up my funding for research. So we make that maximum funding. And I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck scenery and theming. Um, you can see here there's like palm trees and whatnot. And if I go up to the scenery tab, um, okay, I, I can't do anything with it yet. Um, but if I, if I put money into unlocking scenery and theming um, options or upgrades, I can, I believe I can get, um, what are they, pyramids and like pharaoh statues and just kind of desert-esque designs uh, or scenery to put around my park. Uh, and scenery, I believe, makes rides slightly more exciting. I'll have to test that sometime, build a ride, check its ratings, and then come back and uh, add scenery and then go back and see what it looks like afterwards. So uh, let's go ahead and build a custom ride but it's not super exciting uh, car ride track is made from wooden planking with a central guide rail cars are powered and follow the guide rail along the track so this is like those uh, kind of car rides at any amusement park you might have been to um, you're allowed to kind of drive the car and on your own quote unquote but you're on a track and you can't really move much um, so you're somewhat limited in that aspect but so this is the custom one uh, it's 2.6 excitement, 0.6 intensity. Let's see if we can outdo that with a custom design of our own. Uh, it's not going to be super exciting, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so we'll make the station 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I don't know. Sure. Sounds good. Uh, we'll do that. And we'll go up a little bit. Again, like I said last episode, as I build these, I really don't have a plan for what I'm doing, I just kind of do, so. We'll make that straight one so we can go straight down the slope here. Oh, and one thing I just remembered I can do, so I'm gonna do it right now. You can actually go underground. Um, if I take out my land manipulation tool, I don't exactly know what to call it, 
Um, you can see when I hover over the center of a tile, it highlights the entire thing. When I move to the corners, it highlights that individual corner. Uh, and sometimes they do the same thing. So if I try to lower the entire thing, it's going to lower it all to the same level first, and then it would lower the entire thing. Um, so I could have... What? I'm not spending money on theming. Why is it unlocking that? That must have been in development before I un unchecked that. Um, classical slash Roman objects. I don't need those. Okay, so what was I saying? Um, if you are trying to use this tool right now, I could either drag this corner or the entire thing, and it would do the same thing. Uh, and I'll show you that both ways here. So if I raise this up, it brings it to the same level as those two points, the left and right side there. And to get these all on the same plane, I would need to grab all of them, which will grab these three and bring them up to the level of this top one, since that's the one that we're trying to make it even to. From this point onwards, any change to one corner would only change that corner. But, uh, and again, you need a two block clearance, so I had to raise that two levels uh, to get clearance there. And you can see as soon as we went underground, it automatically created a tunnel for us, as well as uh, put us into underground view mode. So it makes building a lot easier. Um, and another thing to note, the, uh, the height markers on the tiles there, on the track, uh, you can see it's at six. I can go all the way down to, I forget if it's zero or one. I think you can go down to zero, uh, but that's as low as you can build your rides. So. I could go down further, I'm not going to, but uh, let's rotate our view, see what we're doing here. And you can see it highlights the tile we're currently on. So let's go ahead and bring this up and out. Beautiful. We'll raise, well, we didn't need to lower that, but I like keeping things looking nice. So, all right, uncheck underground view. And I think that's all the land manipulating we're going to be doing. All right, this is coming along not horrible. <laughs> I guess we'll find out once we get to the uh, actual stats, won't we? Um, I think that's kind of long enough. We'll go ahead and drop it down and kind of end it here, so. Nope, back off. We'll do that and we'll see if we can add one more station tile here. Uh, again, that's the only special thing you can do for this ride. You can't do any S-bends, you can't do any steep inclines, chain lifts, banked curves. It's it's a car ride. It's very, very basic. So we'll do the entrance up by the front again, and we'll do the exit right there. Again, we'll get these pathways going. Probably should have tested it before I did this just to get that going, get those stats up. Uh, people are somewhat hesitant to ride a ride, um, especially if it's a more intense ride before the stats are available. As soon as these become available... See, this is what I mentioned last time. I opened it, I didn't construct an entrance, and that is no bueno. So let's fix that. Okay, stop complaining, guests. Uh, actually, let me close this down real quick. Uh, one thing you can do, and I think I'm actually going to change it, it's, at, it's set to sports cars right now. I can actually change the type of vehicle. Uh, if I open that real quick, you can see what they look like. Um, they're pretty cool looking. Actually, let's change this to a, an individual car. You can kind of get a... Actually, that's not any closer up. Oh, well. Uh, let's actually do trucks. I think those look kind of cool. So we'll open that. Um, and whenever you test a ride, uh, it's dependent, the stats are dependent on what car or track type, I guess in this case, uh, is being used. So if it had certain stats for a sports car, for example, and I change it to a truck, it's now going to have different stats. So it's not an extreme difference, but it does change a little bit, especially on some of the uh, roller coasters that have a bigger impact. You guys aren't riding this for free. We're gonna charge two bucks. People still like it? Yeah, we're still gonna make money off that. All right, and let's give this a name. Um, usually I'm pretty good, or at least I think I'm pretty good about naming rides, but I also have to put thought into naming them to be good at them. And for the sake of how much time it's gonna take me to do that, 
I'm not going to do that. Uh, so we're just going to come up with the first thing that pops into our head. Uh, desert trucking. You can see I like to kind of name my rides based on what they are, not just some random name. If it's made out of a certain material, I'll kind of theme it around that. Um, and let's... I'm going to try to keep this park somewhat desert-themed, uh, as original as that is. The cactuses and sand. And I know it's not super original, but I'm going to try to stick to that. So... Oh, I forget you can do that. Okay, so this is a, a feature I forgot about. So you can see the track, just like the cars, you can do it in different colors. This allows you to do different colors on the track. Um, so there's different color schemes. Uh, so the entire thing is the main color scheme. And I believe if I click this button, paint individual areas of this ride, I can do an alternative color scheme. We'll just make this really bright. And I can click this and I can make parts of the track a different color um, that's gonna take quite a while to do so we're not gonna do that I guess I have to go back and do that anyway but I actually don't know if I've ever done that uh, that's a pretty cool feature we will do that uh, not on a car ride that seems kind of a waste of time um, not the most exciting thing ever all right let's go ahead and make this kind of desert themed uh different colors per car you have to do each one you can't just set it to alternate so i don't want to do that uh we'll make these yellow yeah they stand out nice and bright and black backs yeah or beds i guess man that thing is popular can we up the price to 250 people still gonna ride it i hope so i'd love to yeah people still want to ride it that's awesome i will gladly take their money uh, let's go ahead and build, since this park is a little bit larger, or even if it's not that much larger square footage wise, we have a lot more um, foot traffic. Our path in Forest Frontiers probably ended about here um, in equivalent size wise. Uh, this is almost double the length, so we're going to go ahead and add another uh, sort of food court area over here. Steel mini roller coaster. We will build that soon enough. Um, so let's make... Let's make this area food, just kind of in this tucked in space. And also, I said I wanted to make yellow footpaths. We're going to change these. I know it's a waste of money, but I don't really care. Anything for the beauty of my park. And I know I'm completely contradicting myself about not wanting to spend money for scenery because it's a waste of money at this point. <laughs> but, oh well. Uh, and yeah, so you can see it's already set to a dollar instead of 90 cents since we checked that. Uh, what is, what does the paint change? The side colors? Does that do anything? Yes, it does. I like it. We're probably going to do a lot of browns and yellows in this park. Just a heads up. I don't know if you guys just heard the laugh of those guests, but two guests just laughed at the exact same time with the exact same, um, laugh audio. There's different laughters that they can use, I guess, if that makes any sense. They did it at the exact same time, but like a hair off, and it kind of <laughs> sounded all dissonant. It's kind of interesting. Just like those guests are giggling like crazy after they get off the ride. All right. Oh, I just built... Oh, well. I don't care. And is that it? That's it. Hopefully we get an information kiosk soon. Progress, initial research, type, unknown, expected, unknown. All right. Um, one thing I've been doing, or I don't think I have been doing enough, um, you can see I'm moving my screen around by just dragging my mouse to the edge of it. I can also right-click the mouse. It'll disappear, but then I can pan the screen. And I should probably start doing more of that. If I wanted to move over just a hair, it's probably easier on your eyes to do this than it is to do that. So, I will try to do that. You let me know if that's any easier or if you guys care at all. Um, this is a little counterintuitive for me. It's unlike every touch thing or touch device that we use today where you click and drag and it moves in the opposite direction. This, if I click and move to the right, my screen moves to the right, which is kind of, it's gonna take some getting used to. So, 
Okay, enough talk about that random stuff. Let's go ahead and build another small ride in this tiny little space right here. We'll kind of put it right in the middle. Actually, I want to see if this affects this ride at all. Um, I know if you build rides close to each other or you add scenery, it affects these stats. Um, so I'm actually going to write this down real quick. So that's 3.07. 0.58 and 0.03. I'm going to go ahead and build a ride right next to it in this little opening here. Um, I say ride. It's actually an attraction. Rides are more coasters and everything. Um, that's not going to leave for a very good entrance. It's going to be one tile wide. Uh, let's go ahead and do, we'll go ahead and move it real quick. How do I, can I move it? Do I just have to demolish it? I guess so. I got my money back though, so that's fine. Or I lost $10, I think. We'll do it here in the exit. We can actually put right next to that exit. Save some walkway. Save us some building save us from building some additional walkways. There we go. Um, scrambled eggs, we'll do... Okay, so it's a desert, it's hot. Um, like I said, my name's <laughs> not gonna be great. I don't know what that is. Okay, so we'll make this one do that number. Scalding egg. No, scalding egg is sizzler. That sounds more like a ride. The sizzler. <laughs> and just for fun, merry go round and round. I don't even know if that'll all display on this. Merry go round and round round it does but that clearly doesn't fit i don't think oh well that's the beauty of a game okay i think i started charging too much for this no one's riding it anymore okay so this did have the slightest effect on it um this was Okay, so the only thing, I'm looking at my notes right now, the only thing that changed is this excitement went up to 3.08. So it makes a difference, just not a big one. <laughs> I'm sure if I built another ride weaving through it, it might affect it more rather than just a, a measly scalding egg sizzler right next to it. But, oh well, it is what it is. Um, what are my entrance styles? I'm wanting to theme the park, like I said. Plain... Ooh, so you can see I got a classical Roman-style entrance as part of that scenery upgrade. That's kind of cool. Um, wooden? Let's do wood for this entire park. I think that's going to be kind of cool looking. And I should be able to do it on everything. I think it, like I said, fits with the theme of our park. Plain wooden and then the only other ride we have is i don't know if i've used this tab before i'm trying to remember okay so this is if i had been calling this the ride and attractions tab i guess i was out of line it's the build a new ride and attraction tab this is your ride and attractions tab and it will show you everything that you have um you can sort by a bunch of different stuff i'm just wanting to find the dynamite blaster so I can go to it quickly using this button again so I don't have to make my way all the way over. Wow, that guy just bombed it right in front of the bathroom. How disrespectful. At least make your way inside. That's not courteous at all. Okay, and then we're going to make this the wooden style as well. All right. What else did we want to do? I'm going to build one more basic ride real quick, and I think... That shall be it. Oh, this thing keeps interrupting my trains of thought anytime I want to build anything. Um, one thing to note about the information kiosk is you can see as I spin it around, it's almost identical on every side. 
to my knowledge, it is the only um, shop slash stall that is accessible from all sides. Um, all these other ones are unidirectional. You have to approach them from the front. However, the information kiosk can be approached from any side. So I'm actually going to put another pathway on the back just so people can go all around it. And let's go ahead and open that up. We'll give everyone... So it's going to be white and we'll make them kind of ugly and desert colored. White and a dirty, sandy brown. Not pretty, but it fits. We'll charge them a dollar for a map. Two fifty for an umbrella. Actually, I'm going to make it three dollars because once it rains or even if it rains, I forget if it can even rain on a desert map. Um, but if and when it rains, I don't think they really care how much the map or the umbrella costs them, they're going to buy it. So I'm going to price gouge them a little bit. Um, and now that we have this going all the way around, I'm going to go ahead and add one of these do not enter signs. Man, that ride is breaking down a lot. Luckily, our mechanic is stationed right there. He should be getting a call any moment. Let's watch him real quick. Yep, he's answering this phone call, and then he's going to go ahead and fix that. Awesome. Okay, we're going to add another do not enter sign. And I forgot you can change the color of these. That's cool. We'll make these yellow for this park. Now we'll go ahead and add a do not enter right there. Just so no one can, you know, walk this direction, choose to go straight and just turn around at our exit. So that is an exit only area now, which is nice. Okay. Back to what I was originally going to do. I'm going to build one last. Uh, we'll do the slide. Sorry if this is super boring, or the slide at least. Um, we're going to tuck it right here. And we're not even going to have a line for this thing. I'm going to delete that tree and put that right there. Uh, we will go ahead and open it, charge them not too much. Dollar. Single ride. I don't know if this, okay, so let me see if this affects, I know in the, I think it was like the first episode I did where I built this uh, slide, I said this just made it go faster, but if we look at this, the excitement is 1.69. If I up this, we gotta wait for someone to go through it first. So it was 1.69, I'm guessing this might actually decrease it slightly. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, we're doing that. <laughs> uh, I was wrong. Slide one. Um, we'll make this the the dune slider. Not slender. Slider. All right, that's good for that. That was quick and easy. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, when we come back next time, I will most likely be building a lot more coasters i think this spot is good for probably two or three we've got a lot more room over here as well uh, we have a lot of space to work with on this park so we will take care of that next time again hope you guys enjoyed comments feedback all that good stuff in the comments down below please thank you very much for watching and again i will see you guys next time